Whether you're home cook, professional, or the knife collectors, these are the top seven Japanese knives you should consider adding to your collection in 2022. Stay tuned. I'll show off these sexy knives and I will even use a few of them. Hi, I'm Naoto. I'm the sharpening expert and one of the knife nerds at Knifeware. And also I am the ambassador of Knifeware to Japan. I work closely with Japanese knife makers, traveling to Japan often, and try to source the best possible blades for stores and your kitchen. I get to make friends with those knife makers, select what they have to offer, but not only I am so fortunate to share the ideas for the development of new knife shapes. I've gone through our selections and picked my personal favorite knives that I think you should have in your kitchen this year. So I've thought of wide range of makers, use, shapes, and materials. So I hope you find your uh, next knife in this lineup. Personally though, I'll be so thrilled to have any of these knives in my kitchen. Here are the top seven Japanese kitchen knives of 2022. Number seven, Yukurosaki Senko Gyuto 210 millimeters. This is the shape that you must have in your kitchen. If you're looking for a knife, this is it. This sexy hammer pattern called Senko means a flash. He made it so that knife becomes so nice and flashy. This SG2 powder stainless steel is fantastic. It will keep the edge very long. It cuts fantastically and it is stainless steel. So you don't have to worry about knife being rusted. Yukurosaki san is this young up and coming blacksmith who comes up with lots of different finishes on knives, including this knife like a Senko. Very unique, these hammer patterns are great representation of Kurosaki-san. This knife is 372 Canadian dollars. Number six, Sakai Kikumori Tomoshibi Yanagiba 270 millimeters. If you ever thought of getting into making sushi or sashimi, this knife is for you. This single beveled slicer is specialized for slicing sushi or the sashimis. This particular knife is a little bit special for us because this is forged by a former employee of a knifeware. Over a decade ago, he was working for us and went back to Japan. He apprenticed under a few different blacksmiths and moved to Kochi and started making kitchen knives. This is a collab work with that blacksmith and another famed sharpener, Miljin. This is made out of white carbon steel. It is easy to sharpen. It takes such great edge. Just needs to be kept dry so that it won't rust. This beauty is $302 Canadian. This is called single bevel knife. It has a bevel on this side and flat on the other. This is very traditional way of making Japanese kitchen knives. Number five, Fujimoto Kurochi Forged Santoku 165 millimeters. This is one of the new knife lines we launched in 2021. Made with the white carbon number two, with a very nice thin edge, will keep its edge very nice and long and easier to sharpen. This is made with all carbon steel, so you need to keep it dry, otherwise it could still have the potential of rusting. This is one of the most affordable kitchen knives we have, priced at 156 Canadian. For those of you who's looking to get into the carbon steel knives, this is a fantastic knife for that. This Santoku shape is fantastic for those people who's not comfortable with longer chef's knife like 8 inch or 9 inch sizes. Even with the length of 165 millimeters, this Santoku will do 90% jobs in the kitchen. Number four, Ryusen Fukakuru Nakiri 155mm. Nakiri is the shape 
traditionally used for vegetables in Japan. This flat edge will touch on the cutting board entirely, so after you make a cut, you don't have to pick up your food and separate them by yourselves. Not only that, the nakiri can be a great multi-purpose knife. You can use it for pretty much anything. This nakiri is extra sexy with a little unusual shape at the tip with very beautiful Damascus blade. The steel is called ATS314, usually used for a haircutting scissors. That means it will give very nice long-lived edge. If that is not enough to intrigue you, here's another feature. The handle has very nice tapered ergonomic shape and actually made with Canadian maple burl. This Nakiri is 430 small Canadian dollars. Number three, Seki Kanetsugu Zuiwon 214 millimeter Suji Hiki. The Suji Hiki is designed to carve up your roast, carve your hams, or even your turkeys. Simple, nice, long, skinny slicer will do any of your carving jobs at home. This knife has such beautiful taper and very sexy looking Damascus. Not only that, it does have so-called seven-sided septagon or heptagon handle on it. That makes it really comfortable to hold. The reason why you want to use long skinny blade for your roast is that you don't want to saw your meat up so that you will lose all the juice. Like the Yukursaki Senko, this is also made of SG2 high-speed powder steel. Long lived edge, stainless. This knife will be a center of your attention at your holiday feast. This knife is $398 Canadian. Number two, Sakai Kikumori Yoshikaz Tanaka Gyuto 240 millimeters. This is a collaboration work with us knifeware and the Sakai Kikumori. We are at the Sakai Kikumori and there are three blades forged by Yoshikazu Tanaka-san but sharpened by three different sharpeners. And with the grind and the look and the sharpness, we chose Ajioka-san as a sharpener. His way of sharpening and making a beautiful taper from the spine to the edge blew us away. Therefore, we asked the Kikumori to make a blade out of Tanaka-san's blade and sharpened by Ajioka-san. This beautiful taper translates into smooth glide into those very dense root vegetables. Carrots, potatoes, yams, turnips, lotus roots, daikon radish, bardock root, whatever you want to cut. 240 millimeter gyuto is a fantastic length. If you want to learn more about this length gyuto, check out our video with Chris. This length is slightly actually shorter than the 240 millimeters as this region of Sakai, they measure from tip to the handle. This the steel is called white carbon number no. two with carbon steel cladding. One of the steel that is favorite of many blacksmith. It takes great edge, will hold the edge very long, relatively easy to sharpen. Only thing again is that it is a high carbon steel blade that needs to be kept dry all the time. This beautiful 240 millimeter Gyuto is 498. Canadian dollars. Number one, Mazaki Aogami Damascus Gyuto 240 millimeters. This stunning Damascus blade is hand forged, hand folded by this Naoki Mazaki san in Sanjo. Most blacksmiths in Japan, when they make this layered steel Damascus finish, they buy pre-laminated steel. That means they basically buy like a pre-made croissant dough. Where Mazakisa makes croissant? No, the Damascus finish by hand from scratch. Means he 
forge welds different type of steel and fold it over and over to make this gorgeous Damascus finish. As you may notice, I love 240 millimeter Gyuto because it can serve so many different purposes. This, I believe, is the ultimate multifunctional knife. When you want to do lots of prep or even carve a roast, 240 millimeter Gyuto will do that for you. This beautiful handle is made out of quince burl, stabilized with the resin so that it won't shrink from this point on. The core steel is called Blue Number no. 1 carbon steel. It has very high carbon content that means it's very hard, thus translated into a longer edge retention. It will keep the edge very, very long time. This is priced at 2600 Canadian dollars, a little bit more like a collector's item. But stunning beauty of this hand folded Damascus will certainly deserve it. Personally, if I were to choose one knife out of these, is Ryusen Fukakuryu Nakiri. The reason why I go for this Nakiri is one, I only have one Nakiri. And this top tip of this knife and whole look is absolutely kick-ass. I'm also very intrigued by this steel ATS314 that is only I've seen used for this knife lines. So those are my top seven Japanese kitchen knives for 2022. So we even are expecting more collections to come this year. So keep your eyes peeled at new arrival page of knifeware.com. So what are you planning to add to your collection this year? Let us know in the comments. You can find all those knives in the link in the description. If you want to see 240 millimeter Gyuto in action, check this video next.